Morning guys, I know I haven't made a video for a long time that's basically informative, but I really wanted to respond to some questions that I've seen on Filipino Community UK and various forums about tickets to the Philippines and how to lower the cost of flights to the Philippines. Uh, I've been back home more than 50 times over three decades and I've booked so many uh, flights both to the Philippines and other destinations in the world. I want to give you five top tips on how to avoid expensive fares. Number one, avoid weekends and avoid peak times. You know, when you're traveling back home to the Philippines, you know, people want to maybe travel on a Friday or a Saturday. I would say if you can travel there and back midweek, it's definitely going to save you about £80 or £100 on a ticket. So maybe you want to travel out on a Wednesday. Maybe you want to come back on a Monday. That's definitely going to save you money. Number two, my tip is to try and avoid some of the travel agencies that you see who advertise low fares. And when you actually call them, the fares increase. So the way that I do this is always to do a lot of research. I would suggest trying lastminute.com, Expedia, any of these search engines, because what they do is they have the ability to mix and match fares or mix and match airlines. For example, you might travel out with Cafe Pacific, you might be able to travel back with, say, Royal Brunei, or maybe travel out with Emirates and travel back with Qatar Airways. And by doing that quite a lot, of times you find that the fares can be slightly cheaper. So lastminute.com will give you the real availability. You know, some of the travel agencies will tell you a fare and then when you go and book, you find that fare is no longer available. For example, there's different booking classes and what happens is there's only a certain amount of seats uh, released within each booking class. So uh, you might have seen a fare online, but when you go and check, that booking class is no longer available. And the next booking class is maybe £100 more expensive or £200 more expensive. And the way to avoid this is to basically mix and match. But not only that, to look very, very carefully. Try different search engines as well. You know, when you go on the computer and you search for a flight, that information is now stored. So basically that immediately puts up the price. So I would say try and go incognito on your search so that your search record is not recorded. It's the cookies that record your search record that know you're interested in a particular destination. And this would put up the fare. That's tip number three. Tip number four, you go on lastminute.com. You find a fare on Emirates, maybe 750 or something like that. I would look on the website directly for the airline. For example, I'd go on Emirates.com and I would search those dates, search those times. And sometimes if you leave a little bit later in the evening or a little bit earlier in the morning, you can get the fare cheaper than the one that you found on lastminute.com. But also when you go directly with the airline, you know, sometimes you avoid the charges of cancellation or the charges of changing dates or changing name, etc. Sometimes it's cheaper to book with the airline. I'd also like to, as tip five, there is something called a VFR fare or a community fare. This is something that you won't find on lastminute.com. You won't find it on Expedia. You won't find it online. This is a community fare and often the airlines have a deal where they buy fares or they give release fares for the community. For example, for the Filipino community, there's the likes of Crystal Travel. There are other Filipino community travel, travel agents that are geared to the Filipino community as well as other communities as well. And how this works is they release this particular fare, say with 30 kilos of luggage or 40 kilos of luggage. You won't get that when you go through lastminute.com. You're going to get 20 kilos of luggage for the most of the fares. So what I would say is shop around, uh, look at your dates, look at what time of year you are traveling. And also bear in mind, you know, fares go up and down. So Expedia has this... Uh, facility 
where you can look for a fare and you can monitor that fare. And on a daily basis, it might go up by £50, by £100. It might go down again. So what I would do is do a lot of research. Now there's Skyscanner. Now what Skyscanner does is it compares um, fares, but it also looks at travel agents as well and basically directs you to a particular travel agency. That's how it receives a commission. But what I would say is, if you're going to use Skyscanner, that's fine. But if you get directed to a travel agency before you book, I would look on, say, TripAdvisor or I would look on some of the websites to check out the name of that travel agency. For example, say if the travel agency is called Orange Flight, I'd go on Google, do a Google search for Orange Flight, and I would look at the comments and I would see if other people have had a bad experience or if other people have found it difficult to book with them or maybe their fares are very high, maybe they changed the booking classes. So what I would say is do some research. I know a lot of you do research already, but what I would say is use the price comparison websites. Have a look on the internet. Do a thorough search. You know, when you book an a flight, you know, it's a big decision. You know, sometimes you're paying a lot of money to buy a, a, a ticket. And what I would say is look carefully. Also, consider what airport you leave from. You know, it may be cheaper to leave from Gatwick as opposed to Heathrow, or it may be cheaper to live, leave maybe by Stansted. So look at that carefully. That can often impact the price. I remember post COVID, you know, some of the flights to the Philippines were maybe £3,000, £4,000. But if, for example, you travel to Birmingham, you could get a, a business class ticket for the same price that you could get an economy price ticket in London. So really do look at where you're traveling from. And also, as I said to you before, when you do searches, the computer can see that you've done the searches and this can also increase the price. So be very careful about searching numerous times because often this can make a difference of at least £100 or £200. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. I'm able to take questions. If any of you guys want to message me as well, you can reach out to me at malcolmconlon.hotmail.com or you can search my social media, you know, Malcolm Conlon on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. And by all means, you can... Uh, send me a message. And if I can help you, I definitely will. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this helpful and good luck with your uh, travel search. You know, this post was inspired by a Filipina who asked me how she could uh, book back home to the Philippines. She wanted to look at reducing fares. And this is why I came up with this uh, video. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.